Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video in my decluttering series. Today we're going to do eyeshadow palettes. I wanted to do both eyeshadow palettes and individual eyeshadows but now I only have an hour till I gotta leave and looking at all the eyeshadow palettes in front of me. Oh my god, there's a lot of eyeshadows. So we'll see how this goes. Maybe it'll have individual eyeshadows, maybe it won't. It's a surprise. Anyway, if you guys want to see me declutter my eyeshadows, then just keep watching. Oh, and can we ignore my eyeliner on this eye? I decided I was going to blink whilst trying to do my eyeliner. Oh, okay, where to start? I'm going to start with stuff I know I'm definitely keeping. So first up is my Marc Jacobs palettes. I'm pretty sure this is all of them and I'm keeping all of them. These eyeshadows are my favorite eyeshadows. The quality of these are just amazing, so I'm keeping them. Next are my second favorite eyeshadows, and that is Zoeva. I have a lot of their palettes as well, so I'm keeping the Nude Spectrum, Warm Spectrum. Ooh, let me try and get to these without making a mess. Naturally Yours. I don't know the name of that one. The Basic Moments, Artistro, Smoky, Metals, Opulence. Screen Queens, Caramel Melange, Cocoa Blend, and Premiere. I probably don't need to keep all of these, but I am. Next up, let's do Urban Decay. Uh, so I'm definitely keeping the Petite Heat palette. This palette is great for traveling. Not gonna keep the Naked Basics because I've had this since I started my YouTube channel and it's like melted and sticky. <laughs> so this is gonna go in the bin. Oh, I'm putting these in the maybe pile. These are two limited edition palettes. I'm not sure if you can get these anymore. I don't think you can, but look at how beautiful they are. I love these eyeshadows especially. They're so bright and colorful. So this is going, these two are going in the maybe pile. And how cool is the packaging? This is probably the most painful declutter in the series. I'm going to keep the Urban Decay uh, Back Talk palette, but I'm going to get rid of these. These three are like what I started my channel using, especially the Urban Decay Naked. So old. I just feel like eyeshadows have come a long way since these, and I never reach for these three palettes anymore. Okay, next let's do another one of my favorite eyeshadow brands, Too Faced. <laughs> okay, this pains me as well. So I'm gonna get rid of the Too Faced Natural Matte and Natural Eyes palette because they did redo those. I'm pretty sure the Totally Cute palette isn't available anymore, but I still love the pink and the green shades in this. And it is totally cute. Oh my god, I don't know. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. Then I'm gonna keep the Life's a Festival palette. The Chocolate Bar, Chocolate Gold, Chocolate Bonbon, Gingerbread Spice. I just bought this one from America. Who wants a tutorial with it? Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar and the Sweet Peach. I know I'm keeping a lot. Oh, I have more Too Faced palettes. Hold on. Still with Too Faced, I'm gonna keep the White Peach and the Just Peachy Mattes palette. And I'm gonna keep the like Anniversary palette. I only just got this and haven't really had a chance to play with it yet. I'm gonna get rid of the Love palette. This has been discontinued and I did love it, but I never really reached for it anymore. And because it's been discontinued, I'm probably not gonna use it on my channel. I'm gonna get rid. Ooh! I'm gonna get rid of the Glitter Bomb palette. This is very pretty, but again, I just never really reach for it. I'm also gonna get rid of the Too Faced and Mecca collaboration palette. This is so beautiful, uh, but it was limited edition. Someone else is just gonna get more use out of it than me. Uh, so this is the Natural Love palette from Too Faced. This was limited edition as well. I don't think you can get this anymore, but it is so beautiful. I'm keeping this one. Okay, what brand do we want to do next? I'm gonna keep my Rimmel palettes. These are great for my drugstore tutorials. Now I have some models own palettes. I swear I had another one of these. Yes, I did. Oh, I had two more. My hair keeps sticking to my lip gloss. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of Color Chrome and Aqua Proof, even though it's so pretty. I love the packaging, but I never reach for it. Same with uh, the Cheat Day. Packaging is super cute, but I just never reach for these palettes. But I'm gonna keep Rockstar, Vintage Rose, and Belly There. I've used these in a few tutorials as well. Okay, next, Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> They're all so beautiful. So I've got four of, ah! I've got four of her quads and I'm keeping them. I do love me some Charlotte Tilbury. Then I also have two of her longer palettes. I've got the Instant Eye Palette and the Stars in Your Eyes Palette. I'm also going to be keeping these. Next up, let's do Morphe. So I've got five Morphe palettes. This is the 35W palette. Oh, I'm going to put this one in the maybe pile. Then I have the 35 
N palette. This is so hard for me. Also goes in the maybe pile. Then I have the 35B palette. I'm gonna keep this one because I don't really have anything like this. And then I have the 35O palette that I also used to use all the time. I think I'm gonna keep this one as well. Okay, I'm gonna keep my Z palettes. These just have like Anastasia single eyeshadows, Makeup Geek single eyeshadows, and MAC single eyeshadows, and one of them has Mary Kay stuff. So I'm keeping these. Then I have two ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. These were the Kathleen Lights collaboration, so obviously I'm gonna keep them. She is one of my favorite YouTubers. Um... And keeping with collabs, uh, I've also got two of Chloe's palettes with Ciate. I'm not sure if you can still get these, but they're Chloe's. I have to keep them. I've got my two Milani palettes, the Bold Obsessions and the Most Loved Mattes. I'm keeping these. Then I have three of the Balm palettes. Now I never really reach for these, but I think I'm going to keep one for a video. I think I'm going to keep the Eat Your Heart Out palette and I'm going to pass these on to someone else that's actually going to get some use out of them. So next I have some Tarte palettes. I have the Tartlet and the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I'm keeping both of those. Then I have the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3 palette. I freaking love this palette, but I'm not sure if it's still available. Let me have a Google. Oh, hey, it's still available, so <laughs> I'm keeping it. Oh my gosh. And then I also have this Tarte Clay Play Face Shaping palette. I actually use this all the time as well, and I'm not sure if it's still available, so let me have a Google as well. It is still available. I'm gonna keep it. Okay, cat. What are you doing? You're keeping so many things. Next, I have my CoverGirl palettes. Actually, let me see if the Katie Cat palettes are still available. Damn, I was gonna keep the Katie Cat palettes, but apparently they're not available anymore. So they go in the giveaway pile. Oh, and I think I'm also just gonna get rid of these two because I never really reached for these. I totally would have reached for the Katie Cat palettes over these, but not if they're not available. Um, then I have a Max Factor palette. I want to keep this for a video as well. I've got two Bourjois palettes. I'm gonna keep the nude one and I'm gonna get rid of the smoky one. And I've got two mecha palettes. This was the Beauty Queen palette. I'm not sure if this one is still available. Well, let me have a Google. I should really have looked this up beforehand. <laughs> yeah, this one's no longer available, but this one is. So I'm gonna keep this one and sadly pass this one on. Got my Dior palette, definitely keeping this one. My Fenty Beauty palette, definitely keeping this one as well. Then I've got a few Sigma palettes. I've got the Warm Neutrals Volume 2. I really like this palette. I think I'm gonna keep this one. Um, then I've got the Viper palette and the Creme de Couture palette. It's pretty, but I feel like I'd reach for that Morphe palette over this one just because it has more of a variety. So I think I'm going to pass these two on. My Pretty Vulgar palette, I am keeping. Jouer Essential Jet Set palette, whilst it is good for traveling, I think I'm gonna pass that one on. The Sephora Miniature palette, it is super cute, but again, I never really reach for this, so passing that one on. My Sleek Makeup palette, I'm gonna keep this one. Smashbox Shape Matters Eyes palette, I actually really love this one as well, but just never really reach for it. Yeah, I don't think this one's available anymore, so I'm gonna pass that one on as well. My Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. I'm gonna keep this one. The Anastasia Prism palette. It's got my initials embossed in it, but sadly I just didn't like this palette, so I'm passing this one on. Then I've got Kylie the Burgundy palette. I'm gonna keep this one for a video. I'm gonna keep my Sugar Pill eyeshadows. I'm gonna get rid of my Gabrielle and Kelly Overnight palette. I do really, really like these eyeshadows. It's just I never really reach for them anymore. It is such a beautiful palette though. I just got the Makeup Forever Starlit palette. It looks very beautiful, so I'm gonna keep this one. I've got a random Ultra 3 palette, an Inoxa palette, a Pixie palette, and a NYX palette. I'm gonna give all of these away because I never reach for these. I've got two NARS palettes, which I'm gonna keep because I love NARS. I have a bit of an obsession with NARS, but look at how beautiful this is. I've got the Maybelline Total Temptation palette, which I'm gonna keep for a video. I've got this Becca palette, which I'm also gonna keep. This is limited edition, but I believe you can still get it. It's so pretty. I've got a bunch of Essence eyeshadows that I'm gonna keep for a video. And then I have the Kat Von D Shade and Light eye palette, which I'm also gonna keep for a video. Now back to the maybes. Oh, okay. I'm gonna get rid of these two Morphe palettes. 
This pains me, guys. This really pains me. And this one, and then I think I'm gonna keep these two. <laughs> I feel like I did not get rid of that much, but I did actually get rid of 35 palettes, guys. That is a solid effort for me, especially because I feel like eyeshadow palettes and like lipsticks are the two things that I struggle to get rid of. Like with foundation and concealers, it's so much easier to get rid of because it either works with your skin or it doesn't. But with eyeshadows, it's so much harder. <laughs> okay, I've got like 15 minutes, so let's go through individual eyeshadows really quickly. So for individual eyeshadows, I'm pretty sure I have all of these. They're the Marc Jacobs gel powder eyeshadows. I really wish I could see the color from like the top of the packaging. That really annoys me that you can't, but I am keeping all of these because Marc Jacobs makes amazing eyeshadows. I'm also going to keep all of my Rimmel uh, Mono eyeshadows. I find these are really good quality, uh, especially for the drugstore. I'm going to keep my L'Oreal pressed pigments. And I'm gonna keep these L'Oreal ones. I'm pretty sure these are still available. And I haven't had a chance to play with these Sephora colorful pressed eyeshadows yet, so I really wanna give them a go. So I'm gonna keep them. I have this one Tom Ford eyeshadow. It's like all I can afford. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep it. And then hopefully one day I can afford some more so it won't be so alone in my drawer. Same with my single NARS eyeshadow. Such a stunning blue color. Oh, keeping it! I'm gonna keep my ColourPop, ColourPop pressed eyeshadow. This is Snake Eyes. Then I have a bunch of ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadows. So I'm gonna keep Cornelius, Amaze, Nillionaire, La La, Wild Thoughts, Set to Stun, Truth, Cricket, Riff, and So Quiche. Do I wanna get rid of mittens? Change of plan, I'm keeping mittens. I'm gonna get rid of I Heart This, Jinxy, just because it's smashed, and Central Park. I'm not getting rid of a lot of single eyeshadows. It's because I don't have a lot of single eyeshadows, except for my like ones in my Z palette. I've got a bunch of the NYX Prismatic eyeshadows. I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna get rid of my Sigma individual eyeshadows. I've got this one Stila eyeshadow duo. It is so beautiful, I'm keeping it. Then lastly, I have all of the Milani Bella Eyes Gel Powder eyeshadows. These are so beautiful, but I never really reach for them anymore. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh my gosh. No cat. I am going to get rid of all of these. I find the Milani eyeshadow palettes just so much better than their singles. That's why I'm keeping the palettes. Getting rid of these. Okay, so we're out of time, so I'm not gonna be able to go into like gel eyeshadows and cream eyeshadows. Maybe I'll save that for another video. If you guys wanna see that, let me know. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you guys wanna see more from me. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Look at all the stuff we got rid of.